Okay, everyone, uh, time for an update. Um, so, uh, we've been trying natural induction stuff all day. Um, we did lots of nipple stimulation with the breast pump. Um, got actually a good amount of colostrum. Oh, I'm surprised. But, um, you know, you pump for some amount of time and then you wait and then you pump and then you wait because you don't want to overstimulate. And um, that really didn't get things going really. Um, tried a homeopathic that I had um, to get things going um, and also we did a lot of walking um, just anything we could really do naturally to try to you know get it started I mean I'm having contractions but they're very sporadic and they're not very strong um, so my body wants to be in labor but just take a really long time or uh, which we don't have. I mean, time is not our friend right now because of the risk of infection, um, major risk of infection. Um, just really scary <laughs> chance of infection at this point. Um, so, I talked to the doctor. She's really sweet. She actually had all of her babies naturally, which is really encouraging. But, um, and she brought up the P word, Pitocin. Um, and I was really upset with that at first and kind of like fighting with myself um, about it and uh, but now I'm at a point where I kind of feel like this baby has to come and um, maybe a low dose they're gonna start really low and see you know if it helps and if it gets things going on its own then they can stop it so um, we're obviously gonna go really slow because this baby is young. You know, it's a little, it's an early baby, so we don't want to overstimulate the baby, um, cause the baby to, you know, freak out and get distressed. So, um, gonna start really low and see, you know, what happens because at this point, something has to be happening, and it's not. So, um, I mean, I'm having contractions, like I said, but they're not um, getting anything done. I haven't had any cervical checks because. They haven't had them check me at all because, um, sorry, my phone, uh, because the risk of infection, and they don't want to either. They want to, you know, I think she wants to do a check. Um, once I feel like I'm fully dilated and ready to push, she's going to check to make sure. Um, and I mean, or I just hope we get to that point. I really just want a vaginal birth at this point. I really want to do it, um, you know, no pain medicine. Obviously, that's the goal. So, um, I got my doula here and Chris, and we're just we're gonna eat, um, and then they're gonna start it, and it's gonna take a while to kick in, probably. So, I'm gonna rest while that is happening, and then um, you know just be prepared to really work through things. So, all of your prayers and your comments and thinking about us. Thank you so much. Just been overwhelmed with all the love. I can't respond to all of it so much. Thank you so much. Just know each and every one of you. We appreciate it. And um, it's really all the love and um, good vibes and positive thoughts for something really helps. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll have a baby, you know, tonight. Like, um, and I mean, no, we're gonna have a baby tonight. Why do I say it like that? Hopefully we'll have a baby tonight. We're gonna have a baby tonight or tomorrow morning. Um, and you know, hopefully it doesn't take a crazy amount of time and uh, just you know pray that infection stays away because that's our biggest fear. Um, you know, so that would make plan B have to happen, which I'm not even going to say what it is because I don't want to. <laughs> At this point, I'm not going to, you know, accept that as an option. So, um, anyway, uh, thank you all. Especially, you know, a lot of you have shared stories with me um, about your own premature babies, and it's it's really been encouraging because we're really, we're obviously really worried about this baby and how it's going to do. and. Um, it's just encouraging that baby's so close to um, 36 weeks and that they, you know, said that they expect baby to do fine. So, um, I mean, obviously it's going to have some challenges, but hopefully nothing too major. And uh, maybe next time I'm updating you, I'll have a baby. So <laughs> let's hope. And just keep the prayers and thoughts coming because I just appreciate it so much. And thank you all so much. Um, and I will update you. Um, Again, when I can, I think things are going to get pretty crazy. So, Pitocin causes some really strong craziness. So, um, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm just trying to accept this and be positive and, uh, you know, 
just try to get this baby out safely um, and you know not infected and sick and um, all of that so this is for some reason this is happening I don't know why but someday I guess I'll understand so okay before I get emotional again I gotta go <laughs> bye